Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle guide which is going to be a little bit different in terms of what I want to really talk about. So, uh, I'm gonna stay here first because I don't want to get invaded. So, uh, I'm going to go very fast, very very fast through a rather top level idea over the runes, over the build and over the abilities and such. But I want to talk this game mostly about how you hit your W in jungle compared to how you hit your W on mid lane because this is going to be something related to GLP and something related to what slows you actually got and how to do your best damage with your W and so let's go very fast over the runes I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Revenous Hunter, Transcendence, Nimbus Cloak and these rune stats I'm playing with Smite obviously, I am interested in maxing Q then E then W I am going for the jungle item and probably for uh, probably for Morello as they have lots of Conqueror runes Three to be more exact. Did that karma even hit a Q to help me? I mean, yeah. So that's about the runes, the builds. We're going to. I'm going to heal up a bit here. So this is a nice trick that you can use. I'm going straight to my blue buff, but and I'm going to start the discussion about the slows immediately. So uh, the build talk. Sork shoes generally Morello and jungle item are quite strong. You do want also some Zonia, some Rabadons in there, or maybe a Lyandris, or maybe you'd want to try something like a slow, but you don't really have any reliable slows besides realize. I think the top laner is about to die and I need to gank him. But first I need to get these and I need to get wolves, so he can wait, he has to wait. Yep, as expected. So, we talked about the build, we talked about the runes, we talked about everything that's important. I need to go top now, because if they're echo ganks... Uh, if they're echo ganks right now, this guy's about to lose. Hope he's not here, okay. Okay, we got a free kill, okay. And we might actually come again after she teleports. So, what I wanted to talk in this video, the main thing that I want to talk, it's not kiting, how to kite to farm, how to do stuff like that. Yeah, I want that, I just need to take this first. And Echo is about to come. But I still got it. I don't see the Echo behind me, so I'm just gonna not smite it. And Renekton did not... Renekton did not teleport very important stuff to check out. So, the main point of the video. How is Talia jungle different compared to the mid lane? And how easily you can hit your W compared to the mid lane? Well, if you're a GLP player, in the mid lane you, also, you always have a guaranteed W technically that can actually... I'm actually here. You have a guaranteed W that can actually hit most of the time. In jungle, for a counter argument, you don't really have that. So, how do you hit your W in jungle, you might ask. So, first way, you have a smite that has a small... A small... Uh, okay. Am I getting help? Are we killing them? Misfortune teleport? Okay. So yeah, the first part of the argument is that in jungle you have your blue smite as a slow, right? So that's the first part of the argument. The second part of the argument is that in jungle you need to rely more often on the CC of your teammates than obviously on mid lane where you have the GLP. On mid lane you can also play with exhaust, so that's a counter argument. And also, in jungle you don't really have options to buy items unless you go for a Rileys or a Twin Shadow. I'm gonna smite it because it, it annoys me and I wanna recall anyway. 
So the three things is you have the you have the smite, the blue smite, which can help you hit your double, you have that slow, you have the CC from your teammates, which you must sometimes rely on. And I'm gonna show you in, in a minute why am I going for these ideas. And also you have the possibility of building some items like Twin Shadow or Rylas. That's kinda soft having soft slows or high cooldowns, so the options are quite limited in how you can hit your W. So I'm saying this because as a Talia main, you should hit that W and should probably practice it often. I can't... Oh, that guy. I gave you a kill how you are 1-3 now. So what do you do and when do you actually pick this champion? Because think about it. And I'm gonna keep talking about uh, after that. And he's dead. If he doesn't heal tremendously high from that. Okay, that went well. I cannot babysit this guy. He's going to int regardless and on mid he's not dead. Okay, he's dead. So, the question in charge in Spite, the question that I want to ask actually on this is when do you exactly pick Talia jungle? Because as I said, you kind of have to rely on some factors such as your team CC. And let's look at some examples. This game, right, you have options to hit your W, you have Karma Q slow, you have Karma W, you have ultimate from the uh, from this guy, and you also have from Riven the mini stun. And you have a pretty solid way to hit your W in that context. But in a context in which you have a, I don't know, Yumi Ezreal bot lane, a Z on mid lane, a set on top lanes, that champions that don't really have that strong CC. Oh my god. Really? I actually lived? I actually lived? <laughs> I'm so good. Uh, why do I do let them escape? Uh, where is what? What is Riven doing here? Wait, wait, wait! I'm gonna continue the argument in a second. This is going to be either a massive fail or a massive outplay. And guys, you have you have a Renekton coming. Yep, probably dead. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, he just escaped! Back off! Back off! <laughs> Don't... Uh, I'm, co I'm coming, but... You should have just used your Q to go away. Uh, use your ultimate? Why? Where? What? Just happened. He pinged that he has it up. Oh my god! This is unlucky. This is very unlucky. This is very unlucky. How did he live there? Anyway. Anyway, let's ignore. Yeah, I know how he lives. He has this. I inted, I'm triggered, and I'm tilted. All of them in the same spot, so we're going to have a harder game. So let's start the full clear with this side and move towards bot, and let's continue with the argument. What I want to say is that in games, in games in which you don't really have, uh, nice, in games which you don't really have CC, is it really a good idea to pick Talia jungle? Because think about it, you have some top laner that doesn't have a hard stun. You have some assassin mid laner that doesn't have some hard stun, which is in all honesty going to happen in most games as assassins are quite prevalent. You're going to have some bot lane that may not have, that you might have an enchanter on bot, okay? And you gotta rely on him hitting his CC. Yeah, that's, not, that's a no either. I'm farming right now, but I'm expecting them to actually hard to lose. You're seeing that. What? 
did he just do? So in that context you shouldn't really pick the Lia jungle, because you don't really have much to deal with, you're going to struggle. And that's what I want to say, and that's what I want to talk about. I can actually... I can actually full damage that guy, but he's waiting for the Nautilus, which is right here. I, I pushed him away because I don't want to risk dying, okay? This guy is dead. And so, is the Lia jungle that safe to pick in some context? That's what I want to talk about. Do not blindly pick in the team comps that I just addressed. Do not blindly pick this champion in hopes of carrying it alone. Because if you miss the W on your own while you're not having some CC, you're going to be rather useless, and we don't want that. I've seen Talia that miss W, I've seen that a lot, and I think that you should be resourceful with the pick. You should be smart about it, so how to actually hit your W when you're playing jungle? Well, use your smite properly, and pick the champion when you have CC available. That ensures that, ensures that you actually have a good opportunity to To actually hit the W, I'm staying here because <laughs> we can't, we can't probably kill them. Yep, yep, that went well, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna get this actually. As you can see, I'm playing quite reserved. I'm waiting for the spells to hit. I'm waiting for them to be out of vision because that's another way in which you can take stuff. I'm playing around the CC all the time and you should do that too. And I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I'm staying here because there is a 7 second window. I'm still waiting for that. There is an echo that got the Rift Herald. I used my... Okay, 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 okay. That was so idiotic and that actually worked. Okay, get the first tower here. They are going to go for this. I'm not sure. I think we have time to actually get it before them. I'm not sure, depending on how long it takes for the Herald to spawn and attack. I think we're getting the first tower. I'm not sure though, it's still a risk. I'd, uh, okay, maybe, maybe. Yes! <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. And now I'm coming to help you with that. Uh, careful. No, 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 no. Good. Yep, he just smited it. That's why I got it. I've seen the smite go there. <laughs> and I'm helping here with the push, although I should not take farm from my from my ADC. You shouldn't either. And now we have another Drake. So that was the first part of the video that I want to talk about. How do you actually use slows? I do not recommend to go for the third point, by the way. Do not buy Twin Shadows or uh, GLP. Do not buy that at all. Although I'd want to try a build like that, I'd want to try GLP build, and I think I will <laughs> just for the fun to see how that works. And do not get for, do not go for Rylas, as you need much more the extra, the extra pen from the other stuff, the extra uh, Zonia, the extra Rapidons. Rely is just 20%, 25% slow somewhere there. And it's quite bad. I do not have smite, guys, and we're taking it so fast. I don't think I need smite. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna waste the smite on that. And we are going for the Caitlyn. Yeah, I'm out. Dude, you get soloed by the tower. If Yasuo is coming, we're all about to die. Oh, no, never mind, he's on the top side. Just back off, back off, it's fine, it's fine. 
and I need to look for Ragnarkton here. So this was the, fir the first part that I want to advise, so do not buy items that help you get slows, besides the blue smite when you're playing jungle. And going for this, going for that, and I do not have more, but I can get... nice. Also play around the hard CC that you've got. What's happening here? <laughs> okay. You just got massively outplayed because you tried to fight when you... They had the escape ready. I'm not sure why they kept going on that. I'm gonna... Well, and what I want to do now is try to get this kid. Ah, <laughs> that was a bad, bad, very bad spell. I want to go for the crab, it's gotta be here. Yep, and another thing that I wanted to talk about was. How do you control objectives as a Talia? Because you're quite weak early on, and that's that can cost over the early tricks. So, my personal advice is that if you kill someone on bot, let's just say you do that, then yeah, go for a four versus three on the Drake and get the early trick. But if it's a four versus four and they have the upper hand somehow, if they it's the 3 versus 4, do not, obviously do not go for that, but if they have the upper hand somehow in champion picks, you're a Talia, which is early, Talia jungle early is kinda crap, as you can see you're just waiting for your jungle item, and first Drake you will probably not have the jungle item, because Warwick can start it at level 4, and you definitely don't have the jungle item at level 4. Yeah, he probably does not keep following that. I have alt, but it's useless. So my advice for you is to obviously focus on the Drake objectives whenever you can, but do not try to force stuff as you're kind of weak until you have the jungle item. And after you have the jungle item, you should actually, my advice would be to actually try to force it and try to get the 4 versus 4 on the Drake, try to get these t kind of fights. Because before that you don't have advantage, but after that you kind of do. And I can actually alt here, but we get the teleport there, it's fine. I also have a shit ton of gold again, so I'm going, oh, okay. I'm gonna recall here, we're also clearing the map pretty well, I don't know why I just used the trinket. And this guy got the kill, but he's going to die. Okay, so we farmed again another wave of stuff. And... I want to go bot now to fight here. I want fights now, okay? After a certain point, you want fights. You're basically a Kartus. You start to be useful. You start to deal lots of damage. You can out farm the enemy jungle very easily. You're gonna die here. Come and try to help you, but. I mean, you should have backed off there. Jesus, why did he went in the millionaire? I'm throwing my W to deal damage. I got a bit tilted by that because it's my fault as well, but I should have predicted better. Nice! It was, that was a one shot. Also, there is a Drake coming up, so as you can see, for the early objectives, I am preparing for that Drake. I'm actually selling stuff to make room, well, that potion, which is kind of useless after a certain point, to make room for a vision world, which going is going to help us. And I'm pinging everyone to go towards the Drake, as it's one of the most important things, especially when it's Mountain or Infernal Soul. And do not give me the crap that's only 4% stuff, because it matters, okay? In a late game situation where you need all the damage that you can get, it, trust me, it matters. And so, we want to go towards this zone, we want to clear all the words, we want to create we want to create this space in which we can easily take the drake. We also see Renekton on top, and Renekton is their most fed character, so we have the free 
we have the free drake here i wanted to see if i need to help them but i really want to clear it first okay so it's fine and i don't really care much i don't really care much about uh this fight as i cared about the drake because having plus six percent armor and magic resist is vastly more important than killing someone and or my teammate dying if they have a bounty then it's might you might argue about it but in this case it was extremely better for us to take the drake instead of let's just say someone dying mountain drake i think is the most is the strongest drake right now way stronger than infernal i would say nice flash would have missed w regardless it seems Okay. Auto attacks, so that went well. Now I'm going to get the. I'm not having mana anymore, okay? So I'm having these runes. Oh, never mind. I have to help them. What was that, W? Jesus, I'm so bad. Uh, another thing that you could probably go for, besides Nimbus and Transcendence, is uh, on jungle, obviously. Can you stop fighting? I cannot recall if you keep trolling me here. They are going to kill you eventually. Especially in a 3 versus 2 situation. Uh, I got a bit mad there. <laughs> Sorry for yelling. Anyway, uh, let's go for Landry secondary. But what I want to talk about is the runes. As you have, If you have mana issues, you can go for secondary on presence of mind. And after that, I think this guy wants blue. And after that, you can go for Cop the Grace. Yeah, you can have it, but I hate you. Jesus. I mean, passing mid sometimes is okay, but passing your entire jungle is... Passing blue to mid, sorry. But passing your entire jungle is not okay. <laughs> I am an idiot. That would have been a free kill. Okay, they have, they have uh, QSS apparently, but we are actually winning here. Because for some reason, they decided that they can actually beat us. I want the misfortune to get the penta as she does not as she did not get the quadra there. I would ping Baron, but because I don't have mana, I have to actually go back. Unless there was some kind of plant there which I should have definitely checked, but I still we can still do it. Guys, 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 we can we can still do it. I have mana. Come on, come on. Never mind. This guy is going for it. Come on, let's at least clear it. There was time. There was certainly time. And if we don't do Baron, at least we can go here. No, stop it. These fucking guys are trolling me. Now they can just reach us out. This is probably late, but expecting the... Nah, never mind. Yes, yeah, so it's fine. If one of them does not get it where to be on the map, then we are fine with getting the drake. Also, I need to be careful with the smite. I have uh, 760 damage, so you generally should check. And to, you have to use it perfectly. I did not use it perfectly. And also, you gotta understand what's, what's the next buff and the next thing. <sighs> My neck hurts. But as you can see in the stats, I'm actually having, let's see, 17 Dark Harvest stacks. I'm actually 30 CS ahead of the Echo. And I am doing pretty fine for myself. I did not get a stopwatch as I'm not focused at all, apparently. Technically, it's okay so that they don't focus me because if I miss W, I'm useless. I can grill them down with my Qs. And they should really focus on killing the... Misfortune, so getting Zonia 
wouldn't mean that I'm the one to be targeted. Okay. I'm here, but really... Okay. What? Did he just jump on us? Right. I don't have smite, but it doesn't matter, we already won this game. As I gave Baron to my team, and I'm having quite a perfect score here. As you can see, almost perfect. But playing around the bot lane as much as we can actually nets profit for us, but that's another thing that you should generally do. I see a lot of people focusing on other sides, but if you have a decent ADC, it's actually a good way to play at some point around the bot lane. Especially if they are a bit ahead, in that context you can ensure that they don't get behind. You just gotta ping smart on the other teammates that so that they don't die randomly to ganks. You've seen how I generally ping by predicting a gank. You've seen that. And so, and so you gotta understand. And in lower heels you are gonna have the problem. I'm sure that you're gonna have the problem of them not backing off at the right time. I'm ulting here, but really I'm not sure how useful I can be. Yep, that went well. I can flash. Jesus, the damage he deals. Yep, we won. And that's the video guys, that's the tutorial on how to play Talia uh, in the jungle. I really hope you enjoyed the discussions that there were that I just did and see you next time guys I really hope you enjoy this kind of tutorials goodbye